And you are watching Roger Walker on Slasher Pepper. Enjoy that shit, motherfuckers! Hey guys, Slasher Pepper, welcome to another video. Today, I am going to be doing a huge unboxing. This has been a... Oh, shit. This has been a long time coming because... Uh, uh, Sunday, we celebrated my birthday and my brother's birthday and my mother's birthday. Uh, they were at, Their birthdays were actually on the 8th of March. My birthday is on the 17th of April, so that's in a month or so. But yeah, I celebrated with them because, you know, if I celebrate my birthday in a month too and, have all, and invite all like friends and family over again in a month, it's too much, you know. So I celebrated with them, and I have a shit ton of uh, Motorhead records coming in, and one of them I already have now. Uh, the rest is arriving later today, so this is basically the first part. The lighting will be different. I'll still have the same clothes on though, so that's uh, gonna be the same. But yeah, let's just open this one. I already know which one it is, but it's gonna be a surprise for you. It's Bomber. To finally have it on vinyl. It's Bomber by Motorhead. Back. But yeah, I'll be back with the rest of the records very, very soon. Actually, right now, for you guys. Right now. Alright, so actually, it's a lot sooner than I thought. It's like, oh crap. Messed up my microphone there. Actually, it arrived way sooner than expected. Way sooner than expected. It's like 20, 20 minutes. Since I did the unboxing for Bombers, for Bomber actually, but yeah, here we go. Never had a package this this March, except for well, actually, sometimes Amazon ships their vinyl records, like a single vinyl record in, in a box like these, which is weird. But yeah, nine Motorhead records, beta. I only need like seven more records now. And actually one of these is like a duplicate, but I have Bastard in here too. But I, and I already had that in picture disc, but all of my other motor records are on picture disc. So I gave that one away to Tim. So you know what? I'll just lay them on the floor and grab them one by one. So I already read this one, this is Iron Fist. The next ones I won't read, so it's a surprise for me as well. Like it says over there, Iron Fist. And here it is, brand new Iron Fist. One of my favorite songs by Motorhead. The album itself isn't that good. Um, like the rest of the songs aren't that memorable actually. Like if I, yeah, if I read all these titles, only Iron Fist I really know. Uh, I listened to this album once online, but I will be listening to it a lot more now that I have it on vinyl, of course. Just like Orgasmatron, like I, at first I thought, ah, oh, there aren't really that many memorable songs in there but now that I have it on vinyl you know I listen to it so many times that I know all these songs I love absolutely love the cover art for this album by the way just the uh, red and the blue match so well and then the, like the little red lighting on the iron fist is awesome over here wow that's cool and over here as well that's, that's, I have never seen this picture. That's so awesome. Let's see the record itself. It's just pretty standard Motorhead. Like, you know, you got the bronze label there and the Motorhead logo there. This is all like identical to the, to the picture on the self-titled album. <laughs> no way. That's so cool. This is one of my favorite uh, cover arts. Like, like, I'm gonna say that so many times in this video because all of these records have such cool cover art. But this is We Are Motorhead. Inside, it's like pretty much the same as the back. And then over here, also kind of the same art. So awesome. This one features songs such as One More Fucking Time and of course We Are Motorhead. Next one is Snake Bite Love. And this cover looks even better in real life, I gotta say. This one, for all the horror fans on here, um, this one features the song Love for Sale, which was on the Bride of Chucky. Uh, 
soundtrack. Yeah, the Snake Bite Love. Not one of their best albums, honestly, but it does have love for sale. The record itself. This one has uh, the cover art basically on a label, as well as the other side. Next up, let's see what this one is. Okay, yeah. This is uh, Bastards on regular vinyl. This one was like 10 bucks, so really damn cheap. Just like the picture is, that was. When I ordered that one, that was also like 10 bucks. So, you know, I really wanted to have it on regular vinyl just so it matches up with the rest. And I love this record. This one has some great tracks like On Your Feet or On Your Knees, Burner, I Am the Sword, Born to Raise Hell, Bad Woman, and one of my favorite songs by Motorhead, Liar. So, yeah, pretty simple cover art for this one. It doesn't have, uh, isn't too interesting on the sleeve. Which I was actually most curious about that for this final because I had only seen this and this on a picture disc. So I was interested to see what, what what's the inside sleeve on the regular one. Nothing. <laughs> okay, this is one of my favorite Motorhead albums with a really kind of funny cover art actually. It's Sacrifice. And this one has a dick on the cover over there and uh, a vagina as his throat so that's uh, always uh, cracks me up typical Lemmy you know and on the back you got the band Sacrifice one of their great greatest songs in my opinion I especially uh, when they play this live Mickey D had an amazing drum solo over here it's pretty standard let's see about the label Label also pretty standard, just gray with text. And of course the Motorhead logo. This is Inferno. Wow, we look at that cover art. That's really awesome. This is actually double, the double final, I believe. A 2LP. Motorhead always had their covers done by, I believe, Joe Patagno. Patagno. I don't know how to pronounce his second name. But there's actually like a uh, interview with the guy online and it's really interesting okay that's weird so it doesn't open up but it does have two records here so basically it's just like a thicker sleeve so that it can fit two records in there but I actually thought it would open up you know this is alright too so over here you got a photo Lemmy you know rest in peace and then on the back it has like some text okay this one has a different photo um, which actually looks like the same photo on the back, but it's actually quite different. Mickey D is just standing the same way, but yeah, the Lemmy is actually looking away, so that's different. I'm pretty sure these records have the same label, so I'll show just one of them. This one has the band there as well. Pretty sure the other one then has like the other picture or the same picture. We'll see. Yeah, this one has this uh, photo. Of the band. Oh, you can see myself in there. Hey, what's up? Uh, and over here, the same picture as well. So that's really cool. This one has awesome tracks like Smiling Like a Killer, Killers, uh, In the Name of Tra Tragedy, Life's a Bitch, and of course, Warhouse Blue. Which, uh, those are my favorite tracks from this album. One of their best, in my opinion. This is Rock and Roll. With, of course, this title track rock and roll but also the amazing eat the rich let's open this baby up as well there we go this one as well besides uh rock and roll and eat the rich i still gotta like figure out what other hidden gems are on this album ah classic motorhead with like random photos from the old days you know lots of partying having fun living the life all right two more records okay that's awesome this is kiss of death the back open it up here very good graphic design they uh kind of made everything like gray bluish so that's cool oh there's actually a nuclear bomb with uh war pig in there or uh, Snaggletooth or whatever you want to call him. Yeah, just what I thought. Inside, um, label, 
is also uh, bluish. And the final one, which is overkill. That I knew that much. Yes. I guess we uh, saved the best for last. Because this is my favorite Motorhead album, Overkill. So good. This one features the song that I heard first, Stay Clean. And when I first heard Overkill, I was in the gym. And I heard those drums and I was like, oh, that's awesome. And then like, I thought the song stopped. And then I heard the drums coming in again. And I was like, wait, is this the same song? And then I realized it was the same song. And I was just like, oh, man, that's so cool. This one has a uh, normal standard sleeve. Well, so that's it for now. Nine new Motorhead records. That's awesome. That's it for now. See you guys next time. See ya. Waited this long. Hell no longer awaits.